video is gonna be a very special one because I love this brand before I even try it. It's like, I don't know, I just like their style and like what they're about and everything. So this brand Girl Lactic, I just like that sound of the name. It's like, you know, girl and then lactic. So kind of like galactic. So this video is not gonna be my first impressions because I was a little too impatient to try out the, the lip paints. I've had them for a few months and tried most of the colors. I think there's probably one or two that I haven't tried, so... But I'm gonna give my full review and also a full wear test. So the packaging is like, it looks like this, right? Very cute. I love their packaging, so girly. So they also have a lot of products besides the liquid lip paints. They have like the blush, a highlighter, face powder, and all that, like you name it. They also came up with the new mascara that just launched. So I need to try that one out later in the future. All right, so I bought 11 total lip paints and I actually bought from two different sales. One was like a national lipstick sale, so that was like 50% off. And I think the other sale, I forgot what it was, but I think it was also 50% off. So I took advantage of that because for a single one, it's just $23. So whenever their lactate has any sales, take advantage of it. Even if it's like 30% off, like it could save you like a lot of money. Read online that after opening, it lasts for six months, but hopefully I can make it last longer, maybe like a year. Oh, hopefully, but so far I've been loving these. I'm gonna be trying on each individual lip paints and show you guys and also swatch it so you guys can see the difference between the swatch and on my lips. However it swatches, it will always end up looking different on your lips no matter what. Unless you probably put concealer. So if you put concealer, of course the shades is gonna come out more true to its colors. So I forgot which sale it was, but it was like before I even bought any. So they were hosting a giveaway to give away like one, like a girl active liquid lip paint. And I entered and I was thinking like, hmm, should I wait to see if I win? I didn't really want to wait because like, they were taking a while. And just bought some and then I think I bought like four or five, including the, like a mini. And then like an hour later, they messaged me and said, oh, congratulations, you won. And then they put it on their story. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Like that was like the second giveaway I ever won. So it was like pretty exciting. So the one I picked from the giveaway, it was the shade Stellar. I right, saw so enough about that. Let's try out the lippies. I know they look all similar colors, but trust me, they are all different. So this is the shade Allure. So it looks like this. So it kind of has like an orangey pink to it. And this is how the Duflo applicator looks. So it has kind of like a, it's kind of narrow towards the tip. Okay. Ooh. So this is in the shade Allure. So see, it has like that orangey peachy tone to it. I think it's very pretty. So we're gonna try on that. So before you guys put some on your list, like kind of like take some out because it, this applicator kind of takes out a lot of product and it's like too much for my lips. <laughs> Unless you have big lips, of course. <laughs> so the way this smells, it smells like vanilla. It smells so good. So I'm just gonna... So right here's the result. It looks very pretty. So it's like an orangey pink. Well, actually it looks a little reddish, huh? It looks very more orangey than I remembered. I only tried this once, like a while back, so I don't recall. But yeah, this is like an orangey. It's like an orangey red. So this color is like not super bold or anything. And right here's the swatch. So... So it came out more orangey on my lips, it looks like. <laughs> Actually, I, I kind of smudged it a little. I didn't mean to. So I'm just gonna put the color back on. So the way it feels, it feels very soft. You know how some liquid lipsticks, they kind of like dry down like really matte and it feels very dry on the lips. This doesn't feel like at all drying at all. It feels so soft. Like you could go like this and it kind of feels like clouds. <laughs> and there's some people that say that this is long lasting and well, in my opinion, it doesn't last all day, but it lasts a good while. So if you end up like drinking or eating anything, like it'll start fading right here. And the way it flakes, it's not like very annoying. Like you know how some like liquid lipsticks, once they start like coming off, it it's just so annoying. Like this one, it doesn't flake the same way as those types. So when it starts flaking, you can actually use your finger and rub it off a little bit 
like just rub off the whatever is like coming out and then you could just reapply it like the middle part or reapply it over it. So later in this video, I'm going to show a wear and test to show you guys what I'm talking about. The next shade I'm using is the shade Bashful and this is the mini one. So if you guys want to see a comparison of the mini and the full size one, it's, it looks like this. So I bought this in the like a Trio Mini and the Trio Mini is $33 or if you just want to buy the mini, this is just $12 as an individual. So I bought some minis to try out the colors and to save money to see if I like it or not. Also to see if I want to buy any full size. So this is in a shade Bashful. Very creamy and soft. You can even tell too. So that's in the shade Bashful, the second one. So it's very pretty. So this is like a terracotta nude color. So it looks very pretty. So this is the final result of the shade Bashful. And the shade is a lot more calmed down compared to the lower. And I think it's so pretty. It's like a terracotta nude color. So this has that orange tint to it. But yeah, this is how it looks. And this is the comparison. Since this color is like, it kind of matched my lips almost. So I actually did like three coats on it. Usually I do two coats, but yeah, this color. Right, next shade I'm trying is a, is another mini. And this is in the shade Blossom. So this one's like probably my reddest color. I actually haven't tried this color out. So this is my first time using this color. Yo, so red, looks like. So this is gonna be super red, yeah, super red. It's gonna be popping, very pretty. Okay, so this is in the shade Blossom. Wow, look at that, it's like a, almost like a cherry red, but not so dramatic. This is probably the reddest red I have from this brand, so I think it looks gorgeous. Super pretty. Yeah, like a cherry red. The next shade I'm trying is in the shade Sweet. This one's like more pinkish. Ooh, look at that. It's so pretty. I love this color so much. So this is in the shade Sweet and here's the comparison. It looks very pretty. Mm, definitely one of my favorite shades. Okay, so the next shade I'm trying out is in the shade Blushing. I've already tried this shade and it's it's like an no, orangey nude color. So, Ooh, you know, all the colors look similar, but I swear they're all different. So this one looks more orangey. And I know the other two swatches are actually fading. So there's blushing and it's a lot lighter than the first one I tried. And I got the mini size for this one. Okay, so there's a shade blushing. So it's like a light, like a lighter orange color. It looks very pretty. Very summery. <laughs> so right here's a comparison. So it's kind of come out a little lighter on my lips. So this color is a little light, so you for sure you have to do a two coats, or maybe even three coats, but two coats, at least two coats. Most of them need two coats. The lighter ones, they need like two or three coats. So this is pretty. <laughs> so the next shade I'm trying out is in the shade Demore. So I love this color so much. And I've seen it on other people and it looks different on other people's like lips and oh my gosh when I see it on other people's lips it looks very gorgeous. Not that I don't like it on my lips, it's just that it looks really good on other people's lips too. But I love this color so let's try it on. For a dark brownish color. There's a shade the more so it's like a rusty orange color. 
you could definitely make it look a lot darker so kind of like my shirt I'm not sure if the second hole made a big difference, but for sure this shade is very bold. So right there's the comparison. It looks so pretty. This is like another favorite right, of mine. So next shade I'm trying out is in the shade Playful. So this one, I believe it's a little darker than the other one, or unless it's a little lighter than the one I just tried on. So let's do a little swatch. Yeah, it's a little slightly darker than the other one. shade I haven't tried out and this is in the shade playful so I think it's so pretty so this one's like more like a little bit darker than the last one I tried on and more brownish too but right here's a comparison see so it, yeah it's coming out like more brown than the last one I think the last one was the more right the more and this one's in the shade playful so I think it's so pretty so this is another favorite <laughs> I really like the dark colors okay so next shade I'm trying out is in the shade posh and this shade is so pretty so it's another nude color Ooh. yeah this one looks like an orange nude yeah, it's like an orange nude So this is in the shade Posh. So it's like an orange nude color. So here's a comparison. I like it. I like it. So next shade I'm trying out is in the shade Stellar. And this is... So I don't know what's up with this color. So this shade is stellar. It's like purplish color. And I have like so much quotes of it, like three or four, because I was trying to put, it was coming out like pinkish right here. And while well, the outside is coming out dark, so I'm not sure if that's intentional. <laughs> it is still really pretty. It's very like purplish dark. So it's very vampy. I like it. Also the more quotes you put on your lips, it starts to feel like more matte. Like, it doesn't feel like it's sucking out your lips, but you start to feel the matte feel to it. But it's still very soft, though. It's, like, comfortable. It's better to put two or three coats because after three coats, it starts to feel, like, really matte. So, so this shade is not coming out even for me for some reason. Maybe I have to shake it next time. Next up, I'm going to do the shade Spice. <laughs> so another nude color. Alright, so this how it looks. It's so pretty. <laughs> and there's a comparison. So in the shade Spice. Okay, so now for the last one. This is in the shade Strip. So this is another nude color. So the Paul look very similar, but it's slightly different. Yeah, so it has a, it's like a pinky nude brown color. So almost similar to the strip, but more a little more pinky. So it's coming out a little bit orange. So it's, it is a nude, but oh my god, I love this nude. So right here's a comparison of the shade stripped. So that was just too cold. Such a pretty so nude. I have 11 shades right here. Thinking like maybe um I'll decide which one's the best, but I think I really like this one on right now. It's very natural, very pretty. 
Ah. So I'm gonna show a little clip how it wears out. Some people say it's long lasting. Yes, it's long lasting, but it doesn't last all day. It starts to fade like towards the middle. So either from talking, drinking, or especially eating or drinking, it starts to fade like towards the middle area. And then the flakiness is not very annoying, but it's very easy like to take it off and just reapply over. Okay, so I'm back and it hasn't even been an hour and I actually had to put the brightness in the ring light a little stronger because it's getting darker outside. And I actually took a little like break just to eat some dinner and see how much it wears off and yeah, it's dirty like wearing off, but this is how it looks. See, you kind of see it kind of fading and it's actually disappearing because it's such a nude color. So you could take it off like that, kind of a little, just to make it more even. And then you could just reapply right over. So after you eat or drink anything, that's how it kind of look. From drinking, probably you take a little bit more from drinking. Anything, even from using a straw, it'll start to fade a, a little bit in the middle, but yeah. I really love it, but the only bad thing about it is that it's not very long lasting. So that's the only thing. So these are my three personal favorites. It's in the shade Sweet, Strip, and Demore. I think those are so pretty. I also like the shade Playful, but I can't find that one right now. It kind of rolled over somewhere. My honest review for these, I, I love them so much. Like I love them a lot. Like I kind of wish they kind of last longer, but besides that, I love the formula. I love the way it feels on my lips. It feels like so soft and comfortable. Like it doesn't feel matte at all, like, but it is matte. But it feels so soft and the way it smells, it smells very, very good. It smells like vanilla. And if I were you, I would start out with one just to try out the formula to see how you like it or not because some people are like really picky with formula and like some people prefer like long lasting. So if that's something you're not looking for, then I say don't try this out because it's not very long lasting, but the formula is like very good. So soft. In the shades there's obviously a lot more shades in this so you guys could check out the website i think there's there's about 24 shades and i and this was just 11 shades that i have but i would be so happy to try out the other shades someday <laughs> there's my review for the galactic lip paints if you guys like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below what you guys think if you guys tried out these lip paints let me know what you guys thought about it and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss any of my future videos and i guess i'll see you guys next time bye